Nice photos. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's shoot. Let's shoot. Let's shoot. Okay, my name is Maserati Skrill. A lot of people call me Mozzie Sosa. Uh, lately, everybody call me Two Mozzies. But when you want to look at all my stuff, you just Google Maserati Skrill. Okay. So, where are you from? St. Louis, Missouri. Gateway to the Midwest. It's a small city. And it's real dark in St. Louis. So, I respect anybody who can make it out of St. Louis. Maserati is an entrepreneur who happens to do music. And all my music is real inspirational. It made people want to boss up when you hear my sounds and my music, you know, because I talk that entrepreneur spirit and just being a boss, get money making nothing, turn nothing into something, you know what I'm saying? So just all success stories. Why did you choose the name Maserati Skrill? Well, everybody was calling me J Skrill at first. And then once I got a Maserati, it just stuck with me. Maserati Skrill. Matter of fact, I'm the first St. Louis rapper to be buying Maseratis and pushing them all through the city. So, I inspire some people. At what age did you get started doing music? Um, I used to work, do music with uh, my cousin Capelli and um, one of my good friends named Seneca. And we started rapping and stuff. Well, they've been rapping and um, I was inspired to rap from them. But I didn't do my first record until 2006. I made a first real record in the studio. And then from then I started trying to learn, find my voice. And I was in a group called Red Hot Boys. And then I went solo in 2012. So your cousin inspired you to do music? Yeah, he, uh, he definitely, my cousin Capelli, my bro Seneca, and just people who came before me in St. Louis. Like Spud, who had VIP records, uh, Bleezy, uh, Quit Plan, uh, Black on Black, uh, Guccio, people who was just bossing up, you know what I'm saying? So who are some artists that you look up to or like you try to get the same feel from them? I got, um, I got a strong love for the Bay Area artists simply because they got the independent mind state and they just be on game, you know, about out the trunk, like Too Short, E-40, even currently all the way to like uh, Filthy Rich, you know. I, I'm, right now I'm listening to a lot of uh, Bay Area music and Detroit artists. But I, I like my St. Louis artists too, you know, so. What are some of the struggles that you've had along the way being an upcoming artist? Just trying to break music into the industry. It's an everyday grind, you know, it's a struggle. It, it ain't just all fun and cameras, you know what I'm saying, and lights. It's a non-stop grind, but it's up to you as the artist to turn that struggle into a beautiful struggle. So we have fun struggling and turning nothing into something, like I say. So, And it's a struggle. Just anything you do in music going to be a struggle, you know what I'm saying? The music business real, it's shady, real shady. And you got to find people who really fuck with you and keep tapping in with them. Well, Austin, Texas, we come out here every year for um, South by Southwest. It's a great place in South by Southwest to uh, network, meet new people, new artists, um, labels, you know, just building bridges. That way you go to other cities, you can tap in, you know, be connected. So we and South by Southwest for me, it always just inspired me to what I'm going to do next. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, it, it birthed new ideas. You may get an idea from somebody just by seeing other artists or something, you know what I'm saying? So we come here for inspiration, get work done, make some money, and just network. So do you encourage all new coming and old artists to go ahead and come out or just to get your foot in the door? Yeah, South by Southwest is definitely a place where artists come network. I mean, you got to do that. I mean, this is a great opportunity. No telling who you going to meet. The whole industry down here, so if you bump into anybody, <laughs> You bump into anybody, you, you might get a verse, you know, so you just never know. It's good to come out here and just tap in, you know. So have you saw anyone out here this year that has inspired you or someone that you can um, give some encouraging words? I did want to meet um, Jay Prince, but I got here a day too late. But I saw some artists 
who inspired me. I saw um, Boston George performing. And I, I, how they moving, that's real good. I like to see people moving in packs, you know what I'm saying? Moving str a strong force. And uh, who else we see? The baby was here, you know, he did his thing. I saw some St. Louis people. It's always good to see your hometown here, you know what I'm saying? So you can lock in, you know what I mean? So, so far, what do you like the most about Austin, Texas? Uh, the people. Everybody seemed real nice, you know what I'm saying? And they friendly. And, you know, they look like they're willing to give you a shot. You know, I guess it's the Southern hospitality. But it's real, and it's real peaceful here. It's real cool. You can uh, hang out. It ain't, you know, you, you're not going to really see no violence. And you know what I'm saying? This is real friendly and cool here. I wouldn't mind moving here just because, like, a hub. You got Dallas and Houston. They're not too far away. You got San Antonio. You can move to Austin and get a lot of things done. And, you know what I'm saying? You can go on tour just on Texas. You know, Texas is big, so you can just go on tour in Texas, for real. I live in Austin. And you, what, how far? Uh, Dallas, what, like two hours? You know what I'm saying? Two hours? Houston, two hours away. San Antonio, maybe two hours, hour away. That's love. So, Austin, a good place. You know what I'm saying? Musically. Okay. So, what are some things that you have in the future? Um, just building up our fan base and get, getting more music out, and we want to venture off into more films. We did a film called Peel that I shot with a um, team called Team Wood Films. Shout out to Team Wood. They put me in my first movie. It's called Peel. You can watch it on YouTube right now. And that just gave me a bug where you, you do music, but it's, use music as a stepping stone to get to other places. Like, So movies is definitely the end game, you know? So keep doing film. Man, I could play Lawrence Fishburne. So, you know you know what I'm saying? You never know. <laughs> if they redo Ike and Tina, I, you know what I'm saying? You never know. Like, go audition. <laughs> um, is there anything else that you want to let the people know out there? Yeah, you need to tap in to Maserati Skrill. Um, Google my name, watch all my videos, you know, this is another interview, just keep checking in, and I'm going to give you the real, and I'm going to keep inspiring people, you know, so, if you want a good artist who just get inspiration so you get your shit together, you tap into Maserati Skrill, and you come to St. Louis, I got you. All right, do you have any shout-outs that you want to give anybody else before we end this? Yeah, just shout-out to all my, my peers, shout-out to all my, um, my music buddies, you know, shout-out to Seneca, Capelli. Uh, shout out to DJ Frizz, Cisco Kennedy, who did the new remix to uh, my big song called Reasons. And just shout out to everybody back home, man, who, uh, who fuck with me, all the mom and pop stores, and everybody who, you know, who uh, pushed me, gave me the encouragement to keep going, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to all the, the fans and my fams. I don't like to call them fans, I call them fams. So shout out to all my fams. I forgot to shout you out, baby. Shout out to Dice, you know what I'm saying? Cool brother, man. I'm looking forward to doing some more work with Dice. I'm going to have to come to San Antonio. So y'all be looking out, man.